Hey, welcome to Vic Sports Center. We're here in the showroom, and I have Gary Zart, our StarCraft Pro Staffer, and he uh, he decided to come on in today. And we're going to show you through a 196 Fishmaster. This is a great boat. It is a great boat. This is our best seller, and the reason why is is because of the versatility of this boat and the price point and the warranties. This is the ultimate boat for Lake Erie for the money. You know what, last night, it's, it's late in the year this year, and it's almost Thanksgiving, and last night I actually got to go on my 196 Fishmaster, and uh, we caught a bunch of walleye last night. Yeah, we did. It was uh, it was an awesome night, and it was a little rainy, but when you got a big bimini top like this, and the, the side curtains, when they're usually up, I, you're totally enclosed, and you can fish in 35 degree weather and catch a bunch of walleye with the family, and uh, it's just a, it's a great boat. And we're going to go through some of the features of this boat that we think make this the uh, the best fishing machine on Lake Erie. Absolutely. Okay, now we're up on the front deck of the 196 Fishmaster, and the first thing to point out is how they have a perfect spot up here for an electric trolling motor or an anchor system, okay? And basically, most of the time we are mounting uh, either 80 or 101 eye pilots up on the front of this boat. So we have a perfect area right here to mount. The snap-on cover that most all of our boats come with snaps across here so we don't get in the way of the of the Trova. And the greatest thing about the Trova, and just like last night, I trolled for about five hours last night, never phased my batteries, because I do have a 101 Trova 36 volt system with big sealed batteries. Um, and I actually put a shaft extension on my 101 Trova so it's 72 inches long, so it keeps it in the water. The, the front end of these boats are very, very deep. And so the boat sits high out of the water, and a 60-inch shaft trolling motor does come out of the water a lot. So on my particular boat, I did have to put the 72 on your 2050 STX. Don't have to worry you don't have to worry about it. It's, it's a little bit lower profile boat, and the 60-inch does absolutely perfect. So, But up here on the front deck, if you decide to do a trolling motor, we do have a storage box. I know it's tough for the camera to look in here, but we have a big storage box up front that you can use for whatever you want. You can use it for anchors, bumpers, life jackets, anything you want. But if you decide to go with a, a trolling motor up on the front, we can get three 31 series batteries in here, a 36 volt trolling motor, the breaker system, everything, all in the bottom of this compartment. And you can still actually still throw life jackets and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, so you don't lose your whole storage box. But it does give the boat a little bit more forward weight, okay? Which actually keeps that nose even better when you're trolling along. And it makes it basically hands-free trolling all day, just point and go. Yeah, that we, we call that our best friend. That Minn Kota trolling motor up front is our best friend. And the nice thing about mounting the bot, uh, batteries up here also is because because you have all the weight in the back of this boat with the main motor and a lot of times a kicker, gets a great weight distribution. Absolutely. So, you know, you get three, three 31 series batteries up there, it really makes the boat stable up front and in the back, so it makes it really, really nice. Absolutely, and the batteries are right down the center of the boat, so we don't get any rocking either yeah, way. Yeah, rocking either way, so it really makes it nice. And then from there, uh, you have a huge, huge live well up here. Uh, depending on whether you want to keep them alive or dead, um, heck, you can fit 30 walleyes in there dead on ice, or if you want to keep them alive, it really works well on keeping all that's recirculating alive well. Uh, really makes a nice. A lot of guys that don't have to keep them lead, they just put ice in there with a bunch of fish. And Absolutely. Works last, out really well. Last night we had 20 big walleye in there and a 20 pound bag of ice. So it's a big live well, which is really nice because you don't have to have a cooler laying around in your boat. You have your live well sitting there. Yeah. At the end of the day, if you, uh, you know, I just squirt it out and we're done. Yeah, self bailing right out into the bilge and gone. So it really, really works out nice. Absolutely. So, I think we ought to move towards the back of yeah. the boat now. We're going to reposition the camera. Yep, for sure. end of the 196 Fishmaster and basically what StarCraft has done is made a very wide deep interior boat 31 inches deep as you can see where it's hitting Gary all the way up here instead of being down at your knees like a lot of boats so it definitely gives you a real secure feeling they have moved the windshields forward a little bit on this particular model so you have tons of walk around room all the way behind the consoles which is perfect for what we're going to do here we're going to show how we do use some trolling rods and uh, we actually have three rod holders on this side, we have three set up on this side. But the main thing with these, is, with this particular boat, is having room back here to walk around and move. Now we do have all four seats in place right now. And as you can see, see me and Gary are standing right here. You can definitely put three people across the back. 
But, you know, basically last night even, I had four people in the boat. I wasn't cramped at all. We had lots of room to walk around, okay? In the corners, there are jump seats that sit down in the corners. We take those out when we're ready to fish because now we can get all the way back here and net. And the greatest thing about this area is, again, it's high. It's padded all the way around, okay? And it is on all three sides of you. So if you're sitting there, I know when you're sitting there and you're concentrating on trying to net a big fish and you've got one coming to the boat and you didn't see a big boat go by and you get a big rogue wave come and all of a sudden it knocks you a little bit, you have boat on three sides of you, so you're not going to get knocked out of that boat. Yeah, and another nice thing too on this archive is they have these, this tow rail right here, which is really nice because you can lock your feet and your toes inside here, so it gives you more stability that way. Uh, one, one thing that I love about this boat is that if you remove these two seats, you have so much room back here to troll. I mean, these seats are very easily removable, as Tommy just showed you. And now with the, those seats removed, when you're trolling out here, you have all this room in the back. Another nice thing is with these kind of, with these kind of track systems, making your spread as versatile as possible on a StarCraft is, is optimal. You have not only tracks here, but you have tracks up here also. So you can actually troll easily 10 rods, five on each side without a problem because of these tracks. And these rod holders, they slide anywhere you want on here on these track systems. You can move this any way you want. So th this is what makes a StarCraft a StarCraft. Because of the versatility, another nice thing that, that families like with kids, because of this closed transom and because of these high sides, you don't have to worry about your five or six year old, he has a six year old Anthony, you don't have to worry about him falling out of the boat. Absolutely. You know what I mean? The low side boat, you got to worry about a kid falling out of the boat. Here, this kid's going nowhere. Absolutely. You know, and that's what, that's the security of it, especially when you're fishing big water like Lake Erie. I mean, where can you, where can you find a boat like that? There's no, not I, many out there. It is very unique and the ability to take a lot of people with you. I know Gary a lot of times does charters and, but he, him and Nicholas also fish tournaments. So they're using the 2050 STS because right. it's a little bit more of a tournament style. So boat for all different for kinds of fishing. River fishing. Right. Yeah. If you're just going to go to Lake Erie, the 196 has more room in it than most 21 and 22 foot boats. And again, like Gary said, the deep size. And I love the sealed off back end. I've actually been taking Anthony up to Lake Erie. We were talking about it last night. I had him out when he was two and a half years old. I took him out on Lake Erie at 40 degree water temperature in the dark. My yeah. wife was not exactly happy, no. but I gotta say, you know, he was really safe. We made sure that, you know, there was no way he could get up through the front. We, cl we closed the windshield, we, we blocked it off, and there was no way he was gonna get across the back here. You know, I, I set him down on the ground with his portable DVD player, and life was good. When you hear that clicker going off, he'd yeah. say, Dad, my turn, and I yeah, said, absolutely, <laughs> that was it, you know? And let him come back and reel in fish, but yeah. there's no doubt that it's a super safe boat for kids. But it's also a super safe boat for, for our older customers yep. that want to be down in a boat. They don't want to be up on a front deck. They don't want to be up on a rear deck to net the fish. And that's the one main thing that everybody has to look at. When we, and we do sell other boats. We sell the Starcrafts and the Starwelds. And Starweld has a boat, and so does Starcraft with rear decks. And we can definitely, you know, if, if you want a rear deck to sit, stand up there and cast, that's wonderful. We have that boat for you. But the Fishmaster, its main, main purpose is for the rough water for the Great Lakes. Yep. And being sealed off across the back end is super, super important. So really, if you're looking at a V-bottom boat, all you really have to do, the first decision you have to make is you have to decide if you want a sealed off back end or if you want a rear deck. Because if you want a sealed off back end, the greatest thing is, is they have to come look at my StarCraft yeah. they have to come look at my Star World. Because Absolutely. Those are the two boats that have it. Right. And you know, another thing that we, we keep talking about trolling, but the other thing that this boat is great for, and we do a lot of it in the fall, is perch fishing. Absolutely. You know, you, you can line up three people, four people on each side with these rod holders and locking your toes in. It's a great perch boat. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and that's what makes us such a great boat. It's not just walleye, it's perch. Well, you know, and, and steelhead and smallmouth, yeah, it's just, I mean, everything about this boat is, is big water lake area. Absolutely. You know, you know, and that's what makes it so great. Gary, why don't you show them how those rods, the, the rod holders you brought, and, and, and tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, these are, um, we actually run Cisco's. Um, Nicholas and I are, are sponsored by them, but that's not the real reason why we run them. And the versatility of a Cisco is second to none. They, they can be adjusted any which way, whether you want to turn a rod. Um, it's infinite adjustment. 
Uh, this is a typical setup for us. This would be a dipsy diver that we use. Uh, they go in a cradle like this, and then if you're running board rods, which this is a board right here, but if you're running board rods, these would be your board rods. And like I said, you can move these any which way you want. Don't hit the ceiling. But, uh, you know, that's what makes this so nice. Is like I said, with two sets of track on here, you have a four-foot track and a two-foot track, I can line up my dipsies or bottom bouncers with my board rods and have awesome separation and very easy to get to when you get a fish on. That's what makes it so nice, you know, with these high sides, you go right to the rod, you know, you get to it, you don't have to worry about falling over or anything like that, even if it's rough, grab the rod and reel in the fish. Absolutely, and if, if you haven't seen the small planer boards, these are some offshore boards, there's, there's a couple different kinds yeah. out there, but that's another reason that the back end of this boat is so nice, because when a fish comes in, you have to reach out and take this board off. Well, that, you're, you're the guy reeling the fish can stay in the middle of the boat, lift his rod tip, bring the board right to you. I don't have to get up. I don't have to worry about falling out of the boat. I unclick it. Yep. I usually set mine right in my splash well, yep. grab the net, and net the fish. I'm, I'm right here. I'm 12, 14 inches away from the back end of the boat. It's, so, a, very, it's a very easy hands-on boat. It isn't, it, and that's what makes it so nice. Is it's, everything is right here. This is the business end of the boat and everything's right at your fingertips. Absolutely, and you can slide all different kinds of things in these tracks, just so people know. Um, we have one of our customers has a gas grill that he slides in there so you yeah. can put more out there. Um, you can put Cisco rod holders, you can Birch. put, they're actually Birch tracks. So obviously Birch track, Birch rod holders were fit into it. Um, there's actually tracks, that, there's a couple tracks, different tracks track, that, yeah, that fit into one, it. There's a ton of them. But it, it does, like Gary said, makes it very versatile. Rod holders wise, there are rod holders on the inside of the boats. Um, that we actually line, you can put three rods this way and three rods back, so you can put six rods per side. They do have a shelf down here um, that is carpeted. It's wonderful. I can tell you, I never put my baits away when they're wet, so when you're sitting there, especially when you're using cranks, yep. I just take them off, I throw them there, they stick to the carpet, and boom, that, after they dry out, then I'll put them in my boxes, but that's a, a wonderful shelf to have. Um, and it's great, it's great carpet too. This is 30 ounce carpeting and it's snag proof. So you don't have to worry if you put your lures on there, you don't have to worry about the carpet getting destroyed or anything like that. Very easy to take care of that charcoal gray carpeting. And also speaking of that, vinyl floor. Yeah. Everybody loves the vinyl floor in this particular boat. Um, it is a rinse down boat so you can just squirt it out. There's no, uh, there's no carpet down in the floor area. There's drains in the corners so once you do squirt out your boat, yeah. it drains, drains down to your bilge. Now that does drain your bilge, your live well drains out of your boat. Right. The corner drains do drain down to the bottom of your boat and you hit your bilge pump and pump it out and you're all set. Yeah, the, these vinyl resin floors, I, I can't say enough about them. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. It's, uh, it's simple green. Let it sit for five minutes when you get home, spray it out with the hose, and it looks like brand new. Absolutely. You know, you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of carpet getting dirty. Another thing that this boat has is it has a, a raw water wash down system, which is awesome when you're out on the All water. Right. We like to troll out of worm harnesses in the summertime. This can get to be a real mess with 50 walleyes and worm dirt. And being able to have that raw water wash down system to spray off the back of this boat as you go really saves a lot of time when you get home. Yeah, right. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so, but really. you, not that you have to do it anyway. Nick no, I don't have to do it. Nick that part. So. Okay, and back here in the back, we do have an area right off to the side that if you want to put a kicker motor, it's all set up. You just clamp a, a kicker motor here. There's actually already a gas spot for it, so you don't have to have um, any T in your gas line or anything. Yep. It's got two hookups on the gas tank, and you're set. Up in the front, up by the helm, there's actually already a panel there for a kicker motor. So it is completely set up to, to run two motors if that's what you choose. Correct. Yep. Absolutely. Well, I think we've gone through this boat quite a bit. I think what we're going to do next is maybe hop out of the boat and show the front of the boat and then the back end of the boat to show the yep. hull a little bit. Yep. Okay, we're up here on the outside of the boat now, and on the front of this 196 Fishmaster, you can actually see how deep this particular hull is, and that's what really sets the boat apart. Yeah, you know, we talked about the business end and the inside of the boat. This is the business end on the outside of the boat. There is no other aluminum boat on the market that has a 19 degree of dead rise all the way through. And if anybody knows anything about dead rise, the higher the number, the better it is in rough water. 19 degree of dead rise, like I said, is the best on the market for an aluminum boat, and this is what makes this a Lake Erie machine. fishing machine. 
And actually, basically, the, the dead rise is how sharp the V of the boat is, okay? And with that, the sharper the V, the better it's going to re-enter into the water when it right. does. I mean, up on Lake Erie, let's be honest, that boat's going to leave the water and when it hits a wave. It's going to jump, it's going to do whatever, depending on how fast you go, Right. okay? Yep. But, but I can honestly say that having a sharp V is just going to give you a better rock, and that's really all there is to it. And their 19 degree dead rise runs from the front of the boat all the way to the back of the boat. So the back of the boat's also very sharp. Yeah. And uh, so it, it really does ride nice. I know, you know, I normally don't tend to go very fast. I put a 150 on the back of mine now, and I don't think I've had it over 20 miles an hour yet, but I don't go that far, so it's all good. But it's, uh, I can tell you, they ride really, really great. And I can say that a 150 horsepower motor is probably the motor of choice on this particular boat. Yep. I have ran it with some smaller motors, but the 150, I put a 17 pitch Tempest stainless steel prop on it. I'm gonna tell you, it really, really handles very nice. Yeah, the 150 is a great motor. Actually, you can go all the way up to 200 on these now, which Absolutely. is a real pocket rocket. One thing about Starcrafts, and this is on, on the 196s and even the 2050s and the 21s, they, they do something that no other aluminum boat manufacturer does. They, they have a thing called torsion beam construction. And what torsion beam construction basically is, is it, underneath this hull is a bunch of stringers that go this way, and then they have a bunch of stringers that also go, and they're cross, cross right. they, they, they connect all the stringers. Then they fill the whole bottom of this thing up with foam. And what that allows it to do is, is that this has, has a giant shock absorber in the water, which gives it such a soft re-entry. So this is what makes it have that nice soft ride. You're not going to get beat up. And it's super important on Lake Erie, because if you don't have a hull like that, you're going to have a uh, you're gonna you're gonna have a bag full of rivets after a year. So it really, really does make a huge difference, that torsion beam construction news. Hey, since we're still at the front of the boat right now, we are going to talk a little bit about trailers. And since we are uh, located just about an hour north of uh, Cleveland, and we're also only about 40 minutes from the Pennsylvania line, we do upgrade all of our trailers. So all of our trailers underneath our Starcraft, we get Trailmaster Trailers number one, which is an all-welded trailer, not a bolt-together trailer. Very nice custom trailer, completely set up for this boat. Um, the second part of it is, is we upgrade ours to a higher capacity trailer. We put 5,000 pound axles, 15 inch tires underneath our 196 Fishmasters. Now the reason we do that is we have learned over the years that if you take a 196 Fishmaster, you fill it up with gas, you put a 150 four stroke on the back, a 20 horse kicker for the Pennsylvania Lakes because yeah. they have 20 horsepower limit, and put a bunch of gear with a 36 volt trolling motor on it, so you have a total of four, possibly five batteries. You're getting really close to that the, the capacity of the 4,000 pound axle because you have to take the 4,000 pound axle and take the weight of the trailer off. Also, right. okay. Yeah. So we, we knew we were getting very close, and, and a lot of times in Pennsylvania they'll actually weigh the the whole rig, and so we'll know this. Right. Okay. So now we have basically gone to the 1,000 pounds higher on capacity. Yeah, we spent a few extra bucks in the beginning, but it's going to give you a long-lasting trailer, and you're not going to be the guy broke down on the side of the road because you're you're 100 pounds away from capacity. So right. that's what we actually that's what we put underneath every one of our boats. We do get most of all of our boats in with covers, and you can see the snap covers go right underneath the rub rail, so it keeps the boat looking really nice and clean. Yeah. One one thing uh, Tommy brought up is this trailer is specifically designed for a Starcraft. And what also is nice, not only for trailering, obviously, but pulling the boat in and out of the water. Super, super easy. You can actually do it yourself. It's super easy to yep, launch it. Right it's really easy to drive it right back on. I mean, they literally go right back on, winch it up, done. Yep. You know, and, and that really makes it nice. It's not a, it's not an aftermarket trailer or you know, trailer from somewhere else. It's specifically made for this, and that's what makes it very easy to, to launch them and, and pull it back out. Absolutely. And the nice thing is, Trail Master is located very close to two Starcraft yep. over in Indiana, so they, they have a great relationship there. Yep. We also do get surge brakes on all of our trailers. Okay, anything uh, 18 foot and over, we get surge brakes, which is a great safety feature, also. Yeah, it is, and, and we also usually recommend that if you're going to be trailer you're allowed to get a full size spare. Full size spare, so, and, the, and swing away tongue. swing away tongue, so you can get it in your garage. Yep. Well, let's move to the back of the boat. All right, hey, we are at the back of the boat right now, and as you can see, this is the 19 degree dead rise on the very back end of the boat, which gives it a great, great ride. And we talked about that quite a bit up on the front, but I can't overemphasize it enough. It's just pure physics. If it's a sharper V, it's going to ride nicer than a flat bottom boat. Yeah. That's really all there is to it. They do have reverse chines. 
So it keeps the spray down and it makes the boat plane off a lot faster also. Yeah. So and as you can see from this view, you can see how it's nice and sealed off all the way across the back. Your cover does snap all the way up top, which is very easy to get to. Very nice. Um, and these boats do all come with hydraulic steering, which is a great feature also. Yeah. So I can tell you my old one does not have hydraulic steering. It's getting a little tough to steer and it's going to be time to put new steering cables in yeah. or I'm just going to put hydraulic in it because there's no doubt that hydraulic steering is a lot nicer. Yeah, and you know, one thing uh, Tommy mentioned is the reverse chime. One thing you want to look at in aluminum boats and, I, and a lot of the other manufacturers do it is this keeps the spray down here. You look at a lot of boats, I'm not going to mention names, but if you look at a lot of boats, they don't have this reverse chime here. What they do is they put a spray shield that's, that's riveted about right here all the way down the side. Well, I got news for you. By the time it hits here, it's too late. <laughs> it's it's too late. Up. So with this, with this, you know, happening at the water line, that's where you want it. Yeah. That's how you not only get a soft ride, but you get a dry ride. And, and a Starcraft, in my opinion, I, I've been on a lot of different aluminum boats, it is the driest ride out there too. There's no question about it. Softest and yeah, driest. Softest and driest. For an aluminum boat, there's nothing else like it. Now Gary, Starcraft has come out with a new deal right now where they've actually come out with a huge warranty promotion going on right now. Yeah. But uh, the last last year and, and, and yeah. going forward, they're yeah. coming up with a great warranty. Yeah, you know, they have the best warranty in the business. We, we talked about this boat and the value and how well it is, but I think what sets it apart really from anybody else and how they believe in their product is the warranty. Not only do they have a lifetime warranty on the hull and the floor, but what they basically came out with is they came out with a six-year warranty that basically covers everything else on the boat that comes from the factory, meaning all of your gauges, your pumps, your seats, your carpeting, uh, your covers, and all that kind of stuff. All of that has a six-year warranty. What they basically did is they took what typically the good aluminum manufacturer says, which is a three-year warranty, and they doubled it. Okay, and there's, I mean, think about that. You are basically bulletproof for six years on yeah. this boat. You can't even get that a lot of times with a car warranty, right. or less a boat warranty. So that really sets it apart. And like I said, when you start comparing apples and apples with other aluminum manufacturers and, and the value that you're getting, and then you add the warranty to it, it in our opinion, it's a no-brainer. Absolutely. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I mean, it really is. They're an awesome machine, and you know, Starcraft's a great company. Me and Victor have been selling uh, boats here at the shop since 1992. We started out with Monarchs, which are now called Starwells, but we've always stayed with the same company because it is a completely family-owned company. Um, they are so awesome to work with. At any given time, you can call in and talk to the owners. It's, it's yeah. just a really great personal company. Um, and they are only about four and a half hours away from us, which actually makes it even better. Um, it, it, they're just yeah. close by. They're in, in New Paris, Indiana. Absolutely. It, you know, you're not a number at StarCraft. You, and one thing that I think is really special is, and I, I've known Tommy and Vic now for seven years, is that they treat you like family when you buy a boat or whether you get service or a boat. And that's the same thing that StarCraft does. Absolutely. You know, and, and I think when you're dealing with boat places as much as we have in the, you know other boat places you don't get that no you, you don't get that and when you're when you're spending a, a boat is a luxury and when you're spending that kind of money to have that kind of relationship with your dealer and the person that made your boat is second to none you can't find that anymore. it is absolutely wonderful and that's actually the reason that obviously we love the product we love what they're what they're putting out to us and we love their layouts and all that kind of stuff but believe me, we've been approached by a, probably about every boat company out there as far as aluminum boat companies. Yeah. And we are definitely staying with StarCraft because it is, it's just like the Ranger family, we have the StarCraft family. And, and it's very personal and it's just absolutely awesome to deal with these people. Yeah, and well, one other thing I wanted to bring up when we talked about StarCraft, but also on the Starwells, which is the welded version of, of, of that line, the same exact warranties apply. Absolutely. You know, and, and when you talk about value for the price, I mean, Star Wars are great too. I mean, we have so many models that are Star Wars that you, you can't even believe the type of boat you can get for the money with the warranties. It's, it's crazy. Absolutely. We hope everyone enjoyed the 196 Fishmaster. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call down at the shop, 330-673-7600, or just shoot us an email and we'll get back to you. Yep, fish strong.